Oh, on national TV. Somebody will now be performing your load though. Ah! Uh, you know. If you do not give me any kind of ah. If I don't read before I come here. Don't read me. It's a fry. I don't have anything to give. My name is Jonathan Chamberlain and I'm a multi-sensory artist. My name is Ayobami Ogunbo and I'm an artist and we're on Art Media Africa. Artist Life. Ah, what is she? Our faith. This is going to be a calculated guess. What? Calculated guess. Guessed it now. 20. I'm calculating now. I know. 20. I don't want you to get it. <laughs> That's why. 2021. Final answer. Yes, final answer. Uh, final. Right? 2021. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're going to read it out now. Yes, what, yeah, I did. Oh. <laughs> what artist was known for his unique style of drip painting by creating abstract expressionist works? Drip painting. Is it like yeah. the old master? Is or... it? Can I, can I ask like follow up questions? Um, drip. Man, I don't know any drip person, no. <laughs> drip. Okay, no does, one does what? You're supposed to answer it. Yes. I'm supposed to answer it. Yes. Need to read You didn't tell me. You did not tell me on time. You can't distract me. I don't worry. Is that already? You know, <laughs> if you know it, you know, if you know it. You know it. <laughs> Are you playing? All right. Drip, drip paintings. Give me a hasty drip. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wow, 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 wow. Is he an African artist? You don't know. Drip. Ah. Why not? So you can ask follow up questions. There's no lifeline. Sorry, you know. hey, hey, this one, only Joe. Because there are so many drip artists that one might say. Man, I do not know. Is that like a. I guess. <laughs> there has to be like a time. If you don't answer in like 10 seconds, you are filled. Very good. Do I get to answer this bonus? Yes, if you answer it, it's like a bonus. Is it Damien Hirst? Is it Damien Hirst? No? Great. Who is that? Jackson, Jackson Pollock. Pollock. Oh, that dripping. Does Pollock drink? Is it dripping or expression? Yeah. yeah. Well, it was drip that actually just sent me back. Like drip, like who, like that. dripping is like a part of the entire system. It's just more like seeing scratching and stuff. What is the art of paper folding known as origami? Is it? Yes, I'm sure. Origami. It's origami, yeah. It's, it's, it's Japanese. So yeah. I want you to be able to look into your mind yeah. and think that, okay, well, <laughs> <laughs> this question, is it fair? <laughs> because. Drip, low, low. Ah. Ah. Next it's question, like, like please. A... Um, if I if I check this one and it is still hard, <laughs> then there's going to there's a, there's, a, there's going to be an agenda. Thank God, say I choose this chair. <laughs> I chose this specifically because it matches my outfit. <laughs> ah. Can I? Can I <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh. Ah. I read your question out. I should read the question. Ah, <laughs> you have seen the question already, but actually, but the audience hasn't. So the, the audience hasn't. It's okay. Ah. No more. I can't even read the question because I don't know it. Baroque, which which is also known as late Baroque art. But I think I, I need to ask for pointers. Like, is it um, African art or? Or is it the international scene or something? Ah, Baroque. <laughs> <laughs> I do not know it. Answer for me, Neil. I have, I have no idea. <laughs> Time's up, thank you. <laughs> so if he picks his own, Rococo. there's no way I would have known. I don't that. even know who that is. Who is. The movement. Really? 
Rococo. Like, so, Chidiman always thought it's Baroque. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll check it out. No, I heard my brain was fried. My next question. Uh -huh. Okay, oh, I've killed like twice already. Ah, uh, yes, now let me. What is he going to drink now? Let him drink the hot sauce first. Okay, yeah. You drank everything? This man! <laughs> That's the worst thing I've drank in my life. But it's not uh, What? What African country was the first to declare independence in 1847? <laughs> Why do I know this thing but I've forgotten? Aww. What African country was the first to declare independence in 1847? Jesus, am I allowed to make... Jesus, is this Sierra Leone? Wait, wait. Ethiopia was never colonized. Think of, think of it. It's either Sierra Leone think or, out of the box. or Angola. <laughs> Think out of the box. I am too I know, much. I know, I know, Arabia, <laughs> Arabian country. <laughs> Sorry, Arabia. African my, country. My, African my, country. African really, country. Really deep. It. What was the first thing I said? Go and ask your grandpa. <laughs> no, what was the first country I said? I said Sierra Leone. No! I'm Sierra Leone, man. Why your final answer? I asked something. Photo. 1847. Is my time up? Final answer. Sierra Leone. They have left you behind. Liberia. Liberia. <laughs> I knew you had an L in that shit. It has to be. Can I swear on? Can I swear on? <laughs> Mid Africa <laughs> at this <laughs> life. To be Mumu. Shouldn't be that bad. Yeah, you're bad. Huh? It's it's something that. It's actually a very good sauce. It's a good sauce, can you see? <laughs> Drink water. <laughs> hey, what um what famous Italian artist was also an inventor, musician, and scientist? I'll say David. Yeah. For sure, ma. I'm sure to pa. This I'm man. I'll bring you. Oh my logo, 2000. I want to tell you something. <laughs> if people keep giving me this kind of answers, I'll be getting it, but Baroque, Rococo. Please. Uh -huh. <laughs> Why did I say Sierra Leone? That thing pain me. <laughs> See, no, it's uh -uh. What is Africa's tallest mountain and where is it located? Uh -uh. Uh -huh. um, Kilimanjaro now. It's located in. <laughs> in <laughs> Yes, Kilimanjaro, I'm sure. Where it is located? Actually, it's not Everest. It's Kilimanjaro. Let me now think of. Check, let me think of where it's it. located. I think it's located in Tanzania. It's, not, it's not, either Tanzania or Kenya. They don't ask you that one. They don't ask you the country. Kilimanjaro. <laughs> so which one is the tallest? This is the tallest mountain. Yes, now and where is it located? Where is it located? No, I don't see Kilimanjaro. I think it's border of Kenya and Tanzania. Either of those two countries here. Yeah. Final answer. I think Kenya. I won't go with Kenya. Tanzania. <laughs> yes, wow, wow. Tanzania. <laughs> That's three one. <laughs> it's okay. Aww. What kind of question is this? That is is that not the big one? It's, no, it's a small one still. Yeah, really. You have nah, A, that. B, C, D. In a trivia. <laughs> In a trivia. <laughs> Clearly, it's not trivia. You who said? I mean, you who said? Trivia questions. <laughs> It was a trivia now. This is a These are serious this issues. This is a strong question from the look of things. Emphasis in a composition means that attention is drawn to certain parts than others. Color predominantly used. Entire surface of the composition. Color harmony. Composition. Wait. No, no. Yeah, sorry. Wait, wait. Means that attention is drawn to. Emphasis. In a composition. Okay, in, a composition. in a composition means that attention is drawn to a certain two parts, parts of than others. Others. Than others. Oh, mm. I, I see what all right. Oh, okay. oh. I'll get this. All right. Uh nah, give me a second. Like light now. <laughs> if you bring light on that <laughs> like light and composition. Ah, and leading, you know, leading you lines. Say time up a problem. Composition like leading lines. Uh -huh. Really? Yes. And light. And tonal values. Yes, if, you get, if you think of tonal values now, and you understand. My back is well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My back is well. Yeah. Ah, 
<laughs> like surround sound. Let's start. <laughs> surround sound. <laughs> <What? laughs> surround sound. Man! <laughs> A certain with Jesus. Like, like, Marapa blew Toyota Starlet <laughs> from 1994 <laughs> to like 1999. Uh, we will drive that car. Yes, now. Okay, Baruch. Certain parts than others. Yes, I'm sure. But with this noise, you need to give me double points. Final answer, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, wow. Yeah, go, chili sauce next. <laughs> I'm going to donate my chili sauce to you. If I, there's no. If there's no ABCD on his own, in his own, then there's a clear case of of election fraud. We do keep quiet. Yeah, I'm going to say that. I don't even know this one. What does, <laughs> what does the blue Nigerian police flag stand for? <laughs> POS. Are you playing? The first of all, let me tell you something. It stands for nothing because <laughs> <laughs> those niggas don't believe me. Jesus is <laughs> love. I say blue stands for justice. But what are we kidding? <laughs> I beg you, this is not a police. job on the Nigerian police, police force. <laughs> and I do not know this guy. I'm sure. They are. Love, loyalty, no, and togetherness. How hey! did they, they apply that? Nah. You have problem with me. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sure. They are, they are worse I'm sure. I'm sure they believe that. I think the ginger said that it can, Why? I'm not... it can start turning to stew in your stomach. You understand? They say you should miss I it. I have to mix this with something. Yeah. I should just shake it. Can I drink water? It's going to spill if I shake it. On your behalf. I'm drinking water. I'm drinking water on your behalf. What's in this? This is nice. Me can I have like a small... I need to get the... You can use your last finger and your pinky finger too. That's how you usually do it, yeah. It's just so... Nice. I like this. <laughs> Alright. It's okay. I can see the second half favorable. So you drank just a little. Okay. Alright, we're back on, right? What famous painter cut off his own left ear? Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Van Gogh. <laughs> you don't need to. Is the correct answer? I know. Van Gogh. Sakba wanted to finish it. <laughs> so, so he cut off his left ear. <laughs> but yes, I got it. My God, that's perfect. Mumu. Thank you. So that's two, two, two. What's the score like? It's not at all. Let's know if I'm going to be competitive. Come on, man. Which of Nigeria's states has the most local government areas? <laughs> I don't need to distract you. That's hard enough. It's hard. Life it's hard enough for you. Think, think. Let me help you to guess now. It's definitely a northern state. Are you sure it's not the west? It's within it's within it's between or middle belt. It's between it. Nasarawa and you need to represent Hold at on. a place. I from... have three I have three options. Nasarawa, Kano, Kaduna. It's not Kaduna because I've been to Kaduna. Kano, between Kano and Nasarawa. Nasarawa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to. I suspect that it's Nasarawa. Suspicious final answer Nasarawa. I'm not sure, but final answer is Nasarawa. Wrong. <laughs> so which, I said I which? can. Scano. You know why? You can't, I removed Scano because can't, I've been there. Oh. You can't know Kano. now. Scano. You can't know now if it was right or wrong. And I, I chose Scano. I. Oh. Kano. I'm sad. I have to... You run out of things to drink. Come on, guys. It didn't look like a street slap. <laughs> oh, I drank it all at once. <laughs> this is the worst thing I've had in my life. <laughs> Holy shit. Better, better than pepper. <laughs> what is this? There's Vine guy in that shit. <laughs> street slap. Slap my to brother. Bitch slap you back to Bangkok. Get onto my jaws. <laughs> Damn. I've not been drinking, you know. That says a lot about my car. Am I the one answering his questions? Or he's the one answering his own questions? I'm answering his questions. How can you drop a raw egg from a height onto a concrete floor without cracking it? 
Yes, read it, read it. I should read it to me. <laughs> <laughs> read it. Okay, it goes like this. How can you drop a raw egg from a height onto a concrete floor without cracking it? How can you drop a raw egg from a height onto a concrete floor without cracking it? I, you know the thing about this riddle is that I can give you a a misdirection and it's not be right. So <laughs> when I think about this on your own. How about this? What if the person is dreaming now? He's dreaming. Yes. Because if we crack the egg now. Bro, I'm going to sleep here because I'm, I'm, how <laughs> yeah, can you drop it? a raw egg from a height onto a concrete floor? Time up, time up. Without cracking it. Can I answer it? If I feel, hope I will not drink Atarodo. It's okay. Um, you can, they didn't mention the height though. So, what they said is that, how can you drop a raw egg from a height onto a concrete floor without you, cracking it? Just lowering By dropping it. it at a low height. Ah, this, 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 this reminds me of someone that said that. <laughs> when he fell, he was like, don't break the ground though. Oh, start, start. How can you drop a raw egg from That's the thing, you can't, egg, because... Without, mm, I see. Interesting. Wisdom, wisdom, take time. I'm done out drink. Okay. What do the letter T and an island have in common? One T T, but that's not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> this is very interesting. What do the letter T and an island have in common? They cross it. Okay, they used to cross the T and dot the I'm not forgetting how you read yourself. <laughs> I can't you I stress myself. <laughs> Let that tea and an island have they in common. They have length and they have breath. <laughs> but you know, now, that's my final answer. I would, are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? Why not? Yeah. She's wrong. Let me try. Let me think about it. What do letter T and an island have in common? T. Letter T. I said that. Well, letter T. Well, I lose T. Letter T. Wait, 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 wait. wait. What, where, the 30 is what number in the alphabet? What number? 20, the boat, they are both in the middle of water. Ah, you motherfucker. T, are you water. playing? You don't get. I know now. <laughs> so, <Sorry. laughs> who, who put this together? <laughs> Island stand in the middle of water. T stand in the middle of water when you spell it out. You, you ask. Well, all of them are, they are Wallory Titi, they are Lori Titi, um, Omi. In really don't finish, bro. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. What are you? You mean one? You mean one? Inside we do. I can't even do decimal. Inside we do. Shake it up. It's okay. What is three over seven chicken? Two over three cat. Eh, you cannot get it. <laughs> and two over seven. Two two over four goat. If we're trying to do a shawarma something or what? Is this... <laughs> we can eat. There's no cat shawarma. What is 317 chicken, 213 cat, and 214 goat? A slash. A slash. I, I was... I, I know what I'm seeing. <laughs> now, redo now. So, we got to check out all the options. <laughs> redo me that. <laughs> what is 3 slash 7 chicken, 2 slash 3 cat, 2 slash 4 goat? <laughs> Enigma. Let me give you my pepper sauce to drink. <laughs> Give up. Give up. All right, animal farm. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? You answer it. Me, I, answer it. I'm not, not sure, but that's my final answer. <laughs> animal farm. George Orwell. 1984, <laughs> Chicago. If I the worst to. Ah, who set this question? 
<laughs> yeah, looking at it like I just invest. <laughs> like I didn't figure out to say they actually divide this thing by fractions. She okay. You have a punch up. It's okay. What goes all around the world but stays in one corner? This one a very popular review, I don't forget. What goes all around the world but stays in one corner? Oh, 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 oh. Come on, the earth rotates now. I'm gonna give up, baby. If you think I'm too much, yeah, you'll catch a dick. <laughs> Just give up. Yeah, yeah, that's so It's easy to say. What goes all around the world but stays in a corner? It stays in a corner. Chief Cornerstone. What, what, what? <laughs> what, if you really think about it? Goes around. Comment. <laughs> ah, that's the last comment though, I have. But let's just look at it this way. Wait, 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 wait. Our time's up. Need to, ah, all right. I will eat, I will start drinking pepper sauce. It's stamp. Man, a pepper sauce. You probably be waiting for me. <laughs> this pepper sauce is crazy. It's actually sweet. It's sweet. Mm. Oh, wait. <coughs> What's that blindfold for? <laughs> so why people go go? It can never be me. <laughs> Any ah. pain like this, multi salad. Uh, no. For real, no. You see that? No, 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 Chai. Like this one. No, you have to remove your oh. line to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got to This 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 drawing does not represent me. <laughs> first of all, let me first of all think of it. Hey! <laughs> but it's an expression, I like it. Nah. <laughs> nah. Robaco, brother. What do you call that? Robaco. Yeah. All right. So you can sign this now. Chee. Yeah. That's good of a dead fish on the back. Uh oh. If, if this is, was under duress and this this work is not really me, I mean it. Wait, you try. This looks like what I drew looks like that red, that famous red boot that those people were wearing, or an adaptation of it from this side. <laughs> Mine looks like something. <laughs> yeah, my expression is in Rokoko now. Rokoko. So the rock <laughs> Alright, so let's start with you if you have any All right, so this is the question I have for you. 
what would you like to see more in the art scene? Like, as an artist, like, what would you really like to see more in the art scene? Or more? <clears throat> more young people looking into collecting work, collecting younger artists. You know, I don't know, I feel like a lot of people, a lot of young people don't even know that they can collect work, right? So they just come to the gallery and they just assume that the works are like not affordable to them, right? So I think that more young people should, you know, <clears throat> go and go out there, go and see shows, and not only that, ask the gallery representative for the price of the work, and also actively start to try collecting artists that are like their age mates, get young people, 22, 23, to like 35, 40, right? And if you do that actively over a period of I don't know, five, 10 years, realize that you have a, you have quite the strong collection of artists that that you've grown with right so I, I think it's good for the artists themselves it's good for the ecosystem it's good for you know even from an economical standpoint and, and all that it's yeah it's, it's, it supports the arts the art space yeah okay see the, see the question I asked you very yeah. good question. Okay, so <clears throat> if you were to advise like a young artist, someone who's probably struggling or doesn't know, haven't found their way, having problems with like, I don't know, showing at galleries or even putting their work out there or creating, what would you, what would you advise them, what would you tell them? All right, so I would always, I, always, I speak with a lot of artists and I'll say what I've always said. Um, there's an artist side and there's a business side. Oh, um, as an artist, like many artists, we create and um, when you create, how about this? How about you put it in a document? How about you get your reason why? Like everything that you need to actually for other people to understand you. How about you put it in writing? If you have a plan, how about you make an illustration about it? And even if you cannot produce it now. You know, you can be able to apply to people that can fund it. For me, always it's always going to be about if you are ready, if you if you are ready in some sort of way, in your idea, either you have done it or you have conceptualized it. Then, when opportunity comes, it will always meet you in a, in a good on a good day. You know, so my advice is always to um, be ready. Treat um, art has a business, so you know, try to get in touch with that side and um, never stop creating. My name is Ayabami Ogumbe and I'm an artist. And I just had an amazing time on Art Media Africa Artist Life. So please like, subscribe, comment, follow them on their social media pages on YouTube and uh, keep it locked down. Get me. <laughs> <laughs> Peace out, man. All right, thank you. Get thank stickers. You. Yep. Art Media Africa. Ooh. This is going on right, my right. laptop somewhere. Trust right. this. Oh, still, still, still. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you. If you can't one, can't two. What will you be? Uh-uh. Want to book my shoe? Subscribe to Heart Media YouTube channel and turn on post notifications to watch new episodes of Heart's Life every Wednesday. Well, um, I won't lie. I didn't know I needed this till I came here. I really took this thing off, you know, um, creating, and I really want to applaud um, Art Media for Artist Life because um, it sort of like um, helps you get out of your head. You know, sometimes I was I'm very grateful to be here. Happy that I came up. I liked it. I had fun. I had fun. I mean, yeah, it's good. It's really good. It's actually I've I've actually picked up like, um, you know, some what I call it now is the current affairs or, you know, so many questions I did not know. I know them now. Um. <laughs> I have allergies, though. 
I'm having very bad allergies since yesterday. So I'm just trying so to yeah, it's good. It's also good for the community. It's good for the art community. Bring artists together, you know, and not necessarily do, not necessarily look at art and um, and talk about art, you know. Just be, just be fun, it. It's, it's I love nice. it. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, for coming. We really appreciate your time. Yes, we have. You have something for them? Ah, Ipua. Ipua will still give, huh? still give us something. Ipua will still give us something. I, I don't know. People are so nice. Invite <laughs> me next week. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be doing this every week. <laughs> <laughs>